So, what is the prime enemy of knowledge? Science, metaphysics, philosophy. It is ignorance. It is delusion. So, witnessing all so many New Age groups, people being gurus and all that, I understand this. I may criticize it, but I wanted to know how does it work. And the mechanism in the schizophrenic minds is the same. For example, they encounter an anomaly if they have an experience. They are decompensating a little bit, just enough for them not to be taken for total nuts. So, what happens? You build upon experience, an interpretation, right? And this interpretation may be wholly wrong. And if you are intellectually humble, you try to measure and think from different aspects. You play with it like a toy and see, hmm, maybe this, maybe that. That's why I never claimed, for example, in my writings or in my theorizing and plenty of experiences that I interpret something called absolute truth. Absolute certainty. Something that I know for sure. So, the issue is when people in the New Age clans create false information and then build more false information as arguments upon the false information, upon the false information, and we have a whole delusional system. And they sell this crap to others. So we have a robust delusional system and it is said that it is very difficult to take a madman if he is, even if he is sane but embedded deeply in false belief systems, from a fortress of his beliefs and uh, interpretations of how the world works. It is very difficult. So even if you encounter, and you may, metaphysical experiences, spiritual experiences and all that, I would advise that you will have a very robust grounding and elementary knowledge of science, social sciences, strict sciences, philosophy. Uh, for example, if you want to go into certain tradition, I don't know, Greek or Roman hedonism, for example, it will be good to meet the gods halfway, right? Do your research, read your academic books, uh, see if through necessary information, and then see what works. That is kind of humble. And even then, you do not unveil the whole of it. You do not have the final certain truths, like some fundamentalist Christians saying, oh, Jesus is the Lord and is God. And but How do they know? They don't. They have the blind faith. And blind faith is operating in many guises. In ideologies, if somebody is a fanatic. In New Age, if someone is dead, convinced that he's right, and so on and so on. This is possession by ideology, possession by religion, possession by belief systems. These people are merely possessed by them. And uh, as we know, the devil is in the details. And how better to exploit people, if not these, that are possessed by their religion, belief systems, delusion and ignorance. So, be honest at every step with yourself. Measure what truth might be in it how you may perceive it, how you may interpret it. And of course, sometimes we turn into hardline radicals if something pisses us off. But other than that, we try to be open-minded. And that's a good approach. Open-minded to a limit. Not open-minded means critical thinker that absorbs information and analyzes it for better outcomes, for them to be more effective, efficient knowledge systems. Open-mindedness doesn't mean that you're in a supermarket woo, of New Age friend beliefs or some religious candy store and you take everything and say, yeah, I'm open-minded, let's take it all without any critical reason. So that's my appeal uh, for tonight. Thank you. Hmm.